Arena. Hey, hey, hey. Hello, guys, and welcome to the channel. Here we have a very interesting thing to do today. One of the viewers come to me and said, bro, I'm one of the biggest whales of this game. And I need a gear cleans because I've never done a gear cleans and I really need. So I went to his account and it's something crazy. My friend here, gear cleans, <laughs> got a crazy account. Guys, take a look at this. Take a look at these. Look at this amount of Legos plus four six star. Look at this, my friends. It has no end. It has no end. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Look at this. And you keep going and going and going and going. <laughs> this guy has 728 Legos and, and Mythicals. Almost everyone plus four. Can you believe this? Can you believe this? Look at this. Rotos. Rotos. Look at this. Five plus four rotos. Come on. Let me see one thing. Taras. <laughs> Two plus four Taras and one me. <laughs> Does he got Mari too? Like this. No, he can do a plus four Mari, but he's not doing yet. Come on. Let me see if the... Ma he does not got Marius yet. Oh my god. So... Let me see Telmezia. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe this. But there was one thing that really got into my mind. Come on, look at this. Unbind champions. Look at this number here. Bro. <laughs> This account sacrificed 185 Legos here. <laughs> it's more Lego than 99% of the players got. More Legos were sacrificed here than 99% of the players in the game have as number of Legos. Come on. This is from another level. Another level. That's insanity. Insanity. And what are we going to do here? We are going to do an insane gear cleanse. So I'm going to take this as an example. How to filter the gear of one account. One really, really gigantic Kraken account. So, it's going to take me f at least 20 hours to do this gear cleanse. Because of the huge amount of items, it's more than 9,000 9, items. So, it's going to be crazy. And I'm going to take a look at every single one of them. So, I'm going to take advantage of this to tell people what an account like this should keep. As items and it's the same parameter that we're gonna use for our end game account any end game account so let's start we're gonna start with the accessories so we're gonna for ring and banner from HP everything that is not double row or special it's gonna be sold. So let's go.
So we finished the HP. We're going for the attack. The same things. Unless you have very bad ones and you have to keep, we're gonna let only double rolls or higher for the rings and the, at least two rolls in attack or two rolls in speed and attack or speed for the banners. Let's go for the attack ones. <laughs> Okay, we finish at the attack ones. Let's go for the defense ones. Same thing here. What is not double row or higher? We're gonna sell for the banners. We're gonna keep the mix between speed and the defense percentage. That is good. Okay, unless there is no other option. Let's go on this one. <laughs> So, we finished the defense rings, we are going for the accuracy, banners, everything lower than the barrel, unless it's a triple or quad of anything useful, we're gonna sell. So, lower than double row speed, we're gonna sell. If there is no speed or lower than double row, it's going to the band. Let's go for it. Okay, we finished the accuracy ones. We're gonna do the same thing for the resistance one. Everything lower than double row, unless it's a very good triple quad row. If it's lower than double row speed, we're gonna sell. So let's start for the resistance ones. Okay, we finish at the resistance banners. We are going for the last ones here. Okay. So we're going for the last part. The amulets. We're going to put Critical damage. Everything from critical damage that is not six star from the normal ones we are going to sell. Let's me see how many six star we got. 289. Not that much. Not even gonna roll these ones. Because we want them from pinpoint. Or legendaries. The legendaries are gonna roll. Okay. 
okay now the last part on the amulet i'm going to choose hp and defense and i'm going to sell everything that doesn't got double hole or higher from accuracy or resistance everything that doesn't got double hole or higher accuracy and resistance let's start and now the last step attack amulets for this one is really simple double or higher accuracy triple or higher resistance otherwise sell it so we finished the gear cleans on accessories it dropped from 300 3386 for 1888 almost half of it almost half of it were completely trash and we still got 30 percent of the items very trash but the account doesn't have a replacement for that so we're gonna keep until we step up why we done this because we are going to step up this account to this account to the next level of gear this account from now and on only receives triple row quad rows and penta rows nothing below that we're gonna step up to bring this account to the highest level of gear we could and the owner is going to do everything at his access to do that as you saw Cash is not a problem. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be fun to see the development of this account. So now let's go for the normal gear. That one's gonna be extremely complicated. Okay, let's start for the axe for the artifacts, the hardest part. First of all, we need to get rid of the five star here to get space to trash the others. So we're going to sell everything that's not useful. So just by taking away the trash 5 star pieces, we already got 500 less, almost. So now we are going set by set, cleansing what's not necessary. For life set, only real good pieces, quad damage we're gonna keep, this we're gonna sell, we're gonna sell, we're gonna sell. For here, only real good damage pieces, some speed boots, just to have some, and that's it. Everything else, we're gonna sell. Unless it's a real strong piece or some usable piece. Here we have these two, a quad row and a speed boots. Often set. Not bad. Only we'll keep the, the boots only. Defense set, the same thing, same rule. What's not crazy good or some usable piece we're going to throw away. Okay, we're gonna cap one speed boot and one chest. Speed set. Let's this is one of the most important set. Let's make it one of the last ones. Here, only good damage damage pieces or real good speed pieces. Triple. A damage piece. A double, maybe. We don't need two part pieces. I'm gonna keep this one because it's red rolled. This is a triple. Full damage. We don't need support pieces on this set unless it's a very powerful one. My very powerful one, I said, a lot of rows. A lot of rows. Okay, maybe. On speed.
This one can be used. Flat. Okay, let's go like this. Critical damage set. For this set, we only care about real, really good damage dealing pieces because this set is all about damage or a very powerful support pieces like a triple row or quad row on a glove or something like that these rules apply for a lot of sets but let's start on this one okay i noticed there's a lot of flat things so we're gonna make a quick filter here for gloves chests and boots we're gonna go there and put flat hp flat attack flat defense look how many we got the ones that are not crazy speed we're gonna sell So, just taking away the trash and the flat items, the trash 5 stars and the flat items that are useless, we took away 20% of the items, of the artifacts of the account. Can you believe it? He had more than a thousand items that are pure trash. So now, we're gonna continue set by set. Let's For start the, the sets that are less important. Life we already did, offense we already did, defense we already did, critical rate we already did, critical damage we already did. So let's go for accuracy. No, accuracy is a very important set. Let's go for lifesteal. Many, many pieces of life steel. He only needs a few ones. A few ones. Let's make it different. This way, gonna take a lot of time. So, let's go for rank. All these. Okay, we took away all the rare items that do not fit the set or are very bad. And now we took more 200 items from him. So, we already did life, offense, defense, critical hate and critical damage. Let's go to the sets that are not crazy important, doing them first. Okay, let's start for resistance on this set we only care about a perfect piece or a piece with high resistance or high speed a 
life steel. On this set, we only need a few pieces because the set we almost don't use. So, only real good damage dealing pieces or some survivability pieces with speed and accuracy or speed and resistance. Okay, we finished Lifesteal, let's go for Fury, oh, here we must keep almost nothing. This boot just because it rolled speed. Days. Only care about high speed, this one. Just because of the 8 glyph. Curse said we're gonna let all because we're gonna use this for Hydra. Frost, only high speed and uh, Okay, we're gonna have to roll some pieces here. This one's good, this one is usable, this one too. Only here if it's triple speed. Oops. Frenzy. Only very powerful the mesh dealing pieces are very high speed pieces. No, no, no. We're gonna have no pieces from Frenzy. Regeneration. Only sp speed based and HP based pieces are very high and the mesh dealing pieces. Here, for immunity, this is a very good set to have speed and some damage in dealing pieces. And can be a meta set now. Shoot set. This one is focused on HP. We only will keep very high speed, very high HP or a very powerful damage dealing piece. Salvage 2, destroy set. Here we only care about really good pieces, not something specific because it's not a set that, that we use for much. Stun set is a re real good set for Centranos and some PV content that's hard to pass. So we need pieces that have around speed, critical, hate, and accuracy. This is, these, three, these three things are very important. So, we did stun set. Let's go for Toxic. Here, only cares about speed or very good damage dealing pieces. Provoke. Same rule as Toxic. Retaliation. Here we just need crazy speed, like for quad rolls or penta rolls, or good damage dealing pieces. The same rule for Avenging Set. Exactly the same rule. On Star Wars, we only care about very tanky pieces or very speed with very high speed pieces. Our reflex is a bit tricky because we need support pieces and damage dealing pieces. Current set, only very fast pieces. Put later here, only damage dealing pieces.
the same thing only only the very good damage dealing pieces for divine critical hate for divine life only very tank pieces are very fast divine speed swift parry for la resilience only very 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 powerful pieces because it's not a set that we use that much perception very important so later untouchable same rule as immunity only the major dealing pieces are quad row speeds for blue thirst is the same rule we applied to lifesteal guardian very tank pieces are very fast pieces what? 42 exactly the same rule we applied to the resistance set let's run over here to see if it's triple speed or triple resistance no there's no 42 little for last protection we're gonna keep everything everything the same for stone skin because i read take away the useless pieces when i remove the flat and the rare useless so here we have pieces that we're gonna roll at the time that we want points for something or build a champion or something like this q stroke only very strong damage dealing pieces Very strong damage dealing pieces focus on speed. Let me see if he bought the bolster pack. We're gonna let everything on bolster. Defiant only very tank pieces or very fast. Impulse, same rule as a speed set, very distinct rule. Zeo, we only care about the magic kneeling pieces. Okay, very good one. Righteous, we only care about speed here and resistance. Plus two Slayer, only the Mage Dealing pieces. Good. Pharaoh, we're gonna keep everything. Let's see if we got anything to quadro. The triple speed, triple speed, triple speed. Yeah! <laughs> Real good piece. Now, let's start the important sets. First of all, one of the most important ones right now. Pinpoint. This one, we need everything. We need speed, we need damage, we need everything that we can get. So, every single piece, we're gonna try to extract something. Even if it's going for or or multiple speed rolls. Let's try to extract the best. Let's get to the important sets. Merciless. We only care about the magic dealing pieces. So let's start the harder sets to cleanse. Supersonic. With this one, we apply the same rule as we apply to speed. Roll everything to see if it's 
triple quad or penta row to use ors if it is six star straight to plus 12 triple okay let's see if it's triple speed here resistance accuracy come on i think we can Here, perception. This one we're gonna seek for triple or higher speed rows or accuracy rows and for perfect damage dealing pieces. That's our goal here. Let's go. So now, one of the most important sets of the game, speed set, that are divine speed and normal speed. It's the same rule for both of them. Triple row of anything that is six star, we're gonna row with R to see if I get a triple speed. We're gonna keep good damage dealing pieces, but the goal is really to have triple quad and penta rows on speed that's the same rule for divine speed and speed set and we're gonna cleanse both right now check it out Nice! Ah, vai se fuder, outro quadro. Ah, eu não. Meu Deus do céu, nice. lucro. Outro quadro, velho. Dois quadros. Esse é low roll, cruzinho. Mesmo assim, pô. Low roll. É a mesma, o major. O major. And the last set is gonna be Relentless because he got a ton of Relentless. That's the player that I saw that got most, more pieces of Relentless that I ever saw. Look at these. Look at these. These guys wins a lot of tournaments. <laughs> 
So, for relentless gear, we need everything. We need support pieces, speed, accuracy, and resistance. And we need damage dealing pieces, like critical hit, critical damage speed. So, we're gonna see what's worth keeping and not worth keeping here. Let's go to it. So, we've, after 14 hours of gear cleansing, we finally finished it. <laughs> Look at this, we started with 5,000 artifacts, now we got 2,318. We started with 8 million play power, or 8.5, now we got a 64, we lost 20 we lost 20 million player power during this gear cleanse that's insane that's insane this account now has so much room to progression to farm better gear to to raise the bar which gear they should keep or they should toss away now they really get the chance to evolve the account and this account this account has a really good potential this account can face anyone in this game anyone anyone they want to face because this roster it's unbelievable unbelievable brothers and sisters come on this is unbelievable so let's see what they are going to do in the future let me just check one more thing oh, oh my god oh my fucking god Let's go, let's go, let's go! If you like this kind of content, do not forget to leave a like in the video, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed, and always remember, it's all about arena.